somehow I would get a device to capture some of their urine, and then I would just, you know, get a dropper and put it in. Okay. White honky or um, cracker or yeah. something like that. Yeah, yeah. Is that racist enough? Nothing specific here says that the babies have to be alive. You know what I would do then? Honestly, what? I would get as many just like tiny fetuses as I possibly could. Hello, everybody. Uh, this is Anne for What. I'm Tommy Oler. Today, we have Los Angeles actress Tracy Burr on the show. Hi. <laughs> Thanks for having me, Tommy. It's it's so good to have you. I'm. Uh, this is our first Zoom episode, so I'm pretty excited about that. I, to be honest, I was actually really nervous. I'm like, oh my gosh, this is. Oh. Yeah. I'm. I was like, I, I hope everything works, and I hope it goes it's smooth. Working. Yes, it's working, and let's not jinx anything, and let's just do it. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's do this. Okay. First question. People come to you with their problems, and you can solve all of them only if you get a little bit of their pee in your mouth. But they can't find out you can do this, or else the power goes away. How do you get their pee in your mouth so you can solve those problems? I would open a practice at my own home and I would buy like a really fancy like bidet and um, really just have that be like one of the perks of getting therapy for me is that you get to use this really, you know, wonderful bidet that's just like um, really high class and like. Uh, How are you going to make it enticing? Because you have to get them to go in there. Well, the question is like, how much urine is equivalent to how many problems so is it just like one time or is it like every time they have a problem so if they have an issue if i came to you with an issue um yeah. and you got my pee in your mouth um <laughs> then yeah. you would solve that i don't i should have said somebody else um but <laughs> okay yeah <laughs> but you would solve that issue yeah if i had a new issue then you'd have to redo that again so people in general have multiple issues yeah so, you know, it's like, I'm going to have to continuously yeah. get this pee in my mouth. Get, yeah, get so their pee in your mouth. Not mine. I'm, I'm good. No, not yours. Yeah. Not yours. You're, you have no problems. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow I would get a device to capture some of their urine, and then I would just, you know, get a dropper and put it in. Okay. So can I tell you, you wouldn't need a device. You would just need to cut off the water. Wait, what? You, you don't need a device. All you have to do is turn, you know, the little knob behind your toilet, turn oh, the, Oh yeah. Okay. Got you. Got yeah. you. Yeah. Okay. So it'll just fill up. It'll like, just fill yeah. up with their pee. They can't flush okay. it because nothing can go down. So yeah, I can't believe I just told you the answer. I don't, <laughs> I know. I mean, you're making this so easy. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you get their pee. <laughs> I, I mean, I wouldn't have thought of it unless you had, had said like you get them to go to the bathroom first. Wow. Yeah. Your partner has gotten a new haircut. It's bad, but they like it. But now you can't get aroused for sex. However, you know if you tell them you don't like their haircut like you've done for the past three haircuts, they will break up with you. How do you get them to change their hair? I say to my partner, I really wanna have role play. And I want you to be this um, like pirate character and I need you to wear this wig. <laughs> Do you ever think about like if they are, if they get tired of the role play? I would probably either give them a lot of alcohol or drug them, have them pass out and then shave their head while wow. they're passed out and uh, blame it on someone else. Like say, oh yeah, your buddy came over and like, I don't know, he went crazy and he shaved your head. How is this person not going to wake up and call that person and be like, hey, you're going to have to be in cahoots. I might have to drug that person and <laughs> shave their head. What's the one haircut you're just like, no, no, not that. Well, actually, this is funny. Okay. Actually, I don't like bald. Um, <laughs> but which I know it just completely like destroys what I just said. Um but I would say the second haircut would be, I don't know, like a really, really bad mullet. Yeah. Like, yeah. just like, like 
like there's some mullets that are kind of cool mm -hmm. but i don't know like let's if it's see really long and... like billy ray cyrus achy breaky heart yeah uh, yes, yeah Tra be... travis tripp just the, just the real yeah. long it's it, it looks like they've they're like a wolf or something with the freaking yeah. hair that goes all the way back that okay Every time you orgasm, you have to say something racist at the moment of climax, and it always has to be about the race of your partner. How do you play this off? Because if you don't say something, you die. Well, I can probably only sleep with white guys. <laughs> I could say a white racial slur, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like white honky or um, cracker or yeah. something like that. Yeah, yeah. Is that racist enough? They have to feel like, and this is very difficult for white guys. They have to yeah. feel a little bit like, what the heck was that? Oh, you misogynist white piece of shit. Yeah. Or something like that. Because I don't think the, the racism is going to be enough. Right. Because, you know, like you said, white guys have a, it's like, ah, ha, ha, call me white honky. Who cares? Like they don't, it's, they're like immune to it. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, I feel like it's got to be like, you broke-ass, small-dicked cracker. Yeah, yeah. 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 Hopefully that would, you know, get them. I mean, could you imagine how confusing that is? Yeah, it's like, well, if it's so small, like, how am I making you orgasm in this particular moment? Like, it would really mess with them psychologically. Yeah, yeah. Okay. you're doing... That's a, that's a lot of damage now that I think about this. This is a lot of... Yeah. There's a lot of damage. <laughs> sleep with me ever again no no terrorists have taken over your wedding planning they demand everyone you've invited to eat human baby meat at the reception if you tell anyone of their plans they will kill everyone but you however they need you to get the baby and decide how to cook it where do you source this baby and what's the meal plan okay where do i get them well my first thought was an abortion clinic, <laughs> but that might not be enough meat. Nothing specific here says that the babies have to be alive. You know what I would do then? Honestly, what? I would get as many just like tiny fetuses as I possibly could to equal one or two babies. <laughs> so this might take a while. Yeah. Yeah. But they're already dead. So yeah. Yeah. Do you have an in at Planned Parenthood? Where can you go? Um, I probably have to like, seduce someone that works there oh whether it be the security God. guard or one of the nurses or doctor i don't know i just like despite yeah. you you getting married you're you're marrying someone else what are you telling them whenever you're going to seduce and or try to source the meat yeah i might say like oh i'm taking a dance class for our wedding or <laughs> um oh i'm going to pilates so i can get in shape for the wedding what if i just got pregnant and had a baby. <laughs> that is the yeah. smartest idea, I think, out of everything. Yeah. Well, I would have to fake that I got an overseas job so that my fiance would think, oh, you're just like in Europe working. Yeah. And but really I'm just pregnant. <laughs> and then have the baby. <laughs> Bring the baby to the terrorists and say, okay, it's time. It's time for the wedding. Like, let's, let's do this. Yeah. Either dead babies or my own so that I'm not hurting anybody else's baby. Yeah. That's yeah. Well done. <laughs> that legit and amazing answer that I would never could have even imagined this going. That's, that was great. <laughs> and, uh, and it turns out like we are like practically.